first in a series of videos for Smart Apartment Tech, and this is the Nest Thermostat. So the reason I chose the Nest Thermostat in particular because it works well with exactly what I need to do. So I basically what I want from it is since I live alone in an apartment in a very hot area, I want to be able to have it shut off when I leave, shut off when, when it doesn't need to be on because it does get colder here at night and basically sort of be as efficient as possible just to keep my electric bills down lower and then also work with everything else, all the other uh, smart home kit that I have. So Nest makes it extremely easy to get this installed and sort of figure out if it'll work for you. You pull off your old thermostat, you look at the wires behind it, you go into their website, you tell them what's behind it, and they will tell you if it'll work for you. They also include everything in the box that you need do it. There's a little screwdriver in here and a template sort of to tell you exactly what you need, where you need to drill and what you need to do. Anybody can do it. It took me five minutes last time I installed one of these. So here we have the unit itself that goes over the base plate. I got one with the one with the black finish. There also is a cheaper E model with the same functionality, just not as good of a screen. Underneath you have all of your, uh, your warranty stuff and sort of information. And below that you have the screws, self-tapping screws to mount it to the wall. You have the base plate with corresponding wire holes. It comes with a level already built inside of it, making it easy to mount. You just screw this onto the wall with these included screws with the included screwdriver. And then you put this over the base plate and that's all you have to do. Nothing else to it which is why this is the one I'd recommend for people who really don't know a whole lot about smart home kit and installing like thermostats and have, aren't really handy people. And this is the back plate. If you have a larger thermostat that this is going over or an electrical box it's being wired to, you could put this over it sort of to give you more uh, space. This is for mounting it on electrical boxes. So now it's, I'll show you how to pull off the old one and what to look for and then how to do it. So first things first though, you gotta go and turn off all the breakers. So here's the old dumb thermostat. Um, the problem with a lot of these is they have battery backups so it's really hard to tell if they've been turned off properly. So the way to do it is just try to turn on the system and see if anything happens. You always wanna make sure this is the breakers have been turned off before you try to do this. Uh, some of these will pop off, some of them will have a screw. Mine has a screw for the purposes of the video. I'm only gonna use the uh, the tools given. Alright, so the pot, the front pops off like this, kind of like the, uh, the nest, and behind it you have the wires. Mine has a green wire, a yellow wire, a red wire, a blue wire, and a white wire. So you then go onto the nest website, you show, you tell them which wires it has, and then it sort of will tell you if it'll work or not. So now I've got to pull this base plate off, and then take the wires that are already there, and put them into their corresponding parts on here. They're marked with either white, yellow, green, blue, or red. So I went and took the rest of the, uh, the plate off and I did find a bit of a problem. Mine sort of, instead of running out of a neat little hole like most thermostats do, it comes out of a junction box here. So that means I'm gonna have to use this plate or else when I put the thermostat on it, you'll see part of the box, which will obviously look terrible. I'm just going to put it vertically on here with this mounted. Instead of using the screws that it came with, I'm going to be using the ones that were already on here. So first things first, just run the wires back through uh, the holes in the center. So if you talk, most people would think, why would you change the uh, thermostat in your apartment? But I mean, it makes a lot of sense if you have a high uh, heating or cooling bill. And people think, oh, well maybe you can't do that. No, if you actually ask, most apartments will let you do that. You just have to ask them. So that's not gonna fit through that one, so I'm just gonna have to leave it with just the, uh, the top screw in. It shouldn't make a problem. And this isn't particularly heavy. Alright, so next you're going to want to run all the wires for it. So I'm going to do, doesn't matter what order you do, you push down the little tab over here on the side, you push the wire 
all the way in. And then if it shouldn't come back out, it shouldn't come click back out, that means the wire is not properly engaged. And then just push it back down in there. Use a little one included level to make sure the whole thing is level. Um, like I said, it doesn't really matter what order you do this in. So like I said, this isn't difficult at all. You're just sort of running in the wires that are already here and just plugging them all in. All right, so now I've got the base plate installed and all the wires are plugged in. All I have to do is take the head face unit. And then make sure it's plugged in. So now I'm going to go turn the breakers back on and make sure everything's working properly. Alright, when I turned it back on, the thermostat's now running. I'm going to have to go through the app and just do all the setup process. Nest will walk you through it. It's really nothing to show. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more Apartment Tech. Coming soon.